A lot of progress happens with a lot of work, right? So if you, a bodybuilder's buff, he had to work out a lot. He had to eat. He had to make the right decisions. What about steroids? So you guys have made great decisions when it comes to business. You guys have made great decisions when it comes to like a lot of things. But what you guys have cared to ever open up is that spiritual side. So what I would really, really, really highly suggest is tap in. And I'm not suggesting mine, but I'm just saying tap into one. And see how it affects your emotions because emotion what is you, a spiritual value. I'm spiritual. I'm very spiritual. I pray every night. In fact, <clears throat> wait, what? It's not, what? You do? Since when? I I'm, pray every night. I pray twice a day. I'll pray right now. I'll do a prayer right now, like I do normally. But all I want to do is just do once. I want you guys to go to one. You don't want to hear my prayer? To pray. I was about to pray. You're going to cut him off and put your finger in the air at him like this? Well, I just, okay, I'm so sorry. You fingered me. Go, I'm so sorry. Go ahead. That was mean of me. No, it's the end of the day. Like normally around this hour, I'd be doing my prayers. This is what I say. <laughs> Dear God, creator universe, thank you for another blessed day on this blessed planet. It's a beautiful place you've created. Happy to be here. Just really happy to be here. Uh, feel very grateful that I was very productive today. Felt very full and complete. I got to do what I wanted to do, which was nice. And I'm feeling very fulfilled again. And that feels good. And I'm very happy and thankful about that. I'm exhausted. But I like that because that means I put all of myself into today. And I want to express my gratitude. And hope for another good day tomorrow. Amen. Thank you. I love that. So here's here's one sec. You can do it. One sec. Where was the where's the building? Where is where is you asking your creator to give you strength, wisdom, no, faith, No, Never, knowledge? ever. So never. that's that you're wrestling I never with pride. Ask. I never ask. You're wrestling with pride. No. What? Because you think you're at the level of God that you don't need to ask him for anything? What the fuck? You guys should fight right now. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, bro. No, no, for Not real. No, what ask? Ask for what? I'm just asking grateful. you shall receive, seeking you shall find, knock, and I'm, the door shall be open. These are scripture based. Jesus is literally I talking feel to you about I, it. I feel like if I, but again, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I feel like if I ask, there's, there's repercussions. I don't know. I don't know. I just, it's like you're doing it for bro, the wrong literally reason. Literally the devil's you pushing like you're a headlock to reason. not I don't know. grow. Is like, anyone else hearing this? Yeah, yeah. You don't want to grow. You're scared of it. And that's totally fine. But if there is a God and a creator of the universe and you're his son and you're asking for something, do you think he's going to put you in a position of like devastation just because you asked them? If, have you ever asked your mom and dad for something that's not good for you? They're not going to give it to you. But if it's good for you, they will make it fruitful. So you should never be scared of asking. You're scared of having a real honest conversation. Once you start, a lot of things are going to start letting go. What do you ask for when you pray? Uh, do you ask for me to be nicer? And if not, can you? I ask God <laughs> to open up a relationship between you and him to a point where it's not, uh, it's not selfish. And you're not just sitting there talking. You know, what, your relationship with God is like a relationship that you would have with a girl or a wife that you're like saying the things that would make her happy, but you're not really caring or doing the actual work. Me? Yes. Because we've outlined earlier in this podcast, I'm horrible with relationships. That's what I'm saying. So I'm praying for it. You get what I'm saying? Like, so that is my prayer for you. But my thing is, Baby, I think you're... <laughs> God, please take him all the way down to the ground no. so he can be humble. No. no, but for example, right? The worst thing to you was Japan, but that is the best character development you've ever had. And in your a life. great country in general. I, we have to go there. I love Tokyo. I have to. But go what there. I'm saying is that huge moment that you, at one point in your life, were like, "I can't believe this happened to me. I wish it never happened to me." Now you're like, "I'm so glad it happened to me." So what I'm saying is, if God's gonna put you in a sign of struggle, your arms hurt when you work them out, right? Because you're tearing muscles, but it also grows. It's also stronger. If you ask God for strength, he's going to put you through situations that's going to make you stronger. So you should ask for that. Because, bro, you're the leader of this ship. If you're fucking weak, we're all going fucking down. So don't be scared of asking God to make you strong. I don't want to be the leader anymore. Yeah, it's, I'll start making prayers. I'll take it. <laughs> well, you got some news for you, George. I quit. This, this show's called Stupid Ass Show. Now. I'm not going to sit here on the Dana White podcast without fucking Dana White. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, so if oh, you guys can all open up first, to chapter eight. We had our first host walk, dude. <laughs>